like multiple times every single day, I'm looking at myself going, did I really get all that done? And I still feel good. Like I still don't have resistance. I still feel like I'm ready to look for something else to do now. Like even this journal right now, like I was, I've done all these things. Like I've gone into the city, I've done a physical exam for a new role with a new organization that is going to be more income to add to the, to fuel the fire of like what this is. And uh, even serendipitously caught up with my mate from Melbourne who just happened to be getting on the same train that I was getting on. And he saw me post on my Instagram story that I was in the city. Like everything's flowing like that, like on that level as well. Like it's as I'm getting more in alignment with myself, like the universe seems to be like it's getting in alignment with like the whole universe. And it just it's all unfolding so beautifully. And it's just incredible. Like so what I was actually trying to say is this journal is even like I was done for today. I've, I've been done for today so many times over. I've done like these are what my days are like now. Like I finish my to-do list and then I'm like, well, what was I going to do tomorrow? <laughs> and I do all of that. And then what was I going to do the next day? And then I do all of that. And then I even do all these little things that pop up in between, like catching up with my mate from Melbourne and like having this like supercharged session with him on the train and at the train station waiting for the train just talking about hopes and dreams and where we've been and where we're going and how we're going to do it and um when i talk to my friends and like people that come to me and i'm telling them like look you just got to take action and you got to make this work and like and say all those like motivating inspiring things i think it it's it's just a matter of like because i'm embodying it and i've actually done it myself it means more like it just does it just holds more weight like when i catch up with people um like it seems to actually it has substance to it that makes sense though like if you're going to just tell everybody else to do their dreams and like nothing that if you can dream it you can do it and like say all these cliches but you're actually still working at maccas like (laughs) and that's all you're doing like you get work at maccas you go home you watch netflix like of course nobody's going to listen to you but as you take more action yourself and you be the example like i've said like in my journals like it's one of the things that are like a big insights that i really wanted to get across to people like as you embody like your changes that's the most powerful thing that you can give to others because all of a sudden there's one there's like everybody talks shit everybody wants to imagine everybody wants to dream everybody wants to you know look at all these other people's pictures and these influences and celebrities whatever it is like wherever you get your what you think is inspiration from it's not really inspiration because what are you actually feeling when you're looking at that stuff are you actually feeling inspired and empowered or um are you looking at it all going like i could never be that i could never do that um this just isn't going to be me like uh, like if we're really mindful and honest with ourselves while we're scrolling through social media what are we actually feeling when we're looking at all of these pictures and another this is huge like so you know that, like everybody knows that. If you're looking at all the things that other people are accomplishing and you're feeling bad about yourself, everybody's had that experience. I've had that experience a lot. I don't do it anymore. But the other piece to that is, are you feeling bad about all these things that everybody else is accomplishing because you're not accomplishing them? Or is it actually not in your alignment? Are you looking at all this stuff thinking that that's the icons of success, abundance, happiness, And like, you know, like, are you looking at it thinking that's the shit when it's not? Like, is that the problem? Are you you actually got all these things that you're looking at as like your inspiration and motivation, but like your heart actually isn't lighting up when you look at it at all. Like, it's not even that you're, that you feel like you can't do it. It's that you don't even want it. Like if you go deeper into your heart and you're really honest with yourself and you're looking at these pictures, like, do you really want? like all of the garbage like all of the material stuff like because your heart's not going to respond to that your heart's going to respond to things that actually fulfill you on the deepest level or your heart responds to making a contribution making a change in the world so all of the material stuff is a result of going on the journey that you need to go on and your heart's looking for the journey your heart's looking for the contribution your heart's looking for the change and the growth and the evolution but your mind and your ego is like being programmed to look at all these status symbols and icons and go like, I've got to have all that. And then my heart will be full, but it's like the other way around, like have nothing do like have no possessions, like 
keep it so simple. Don't have anything fancy. Just like focus on like what feels fulfilling. Focus on like challenges, finding a challenge that you feel excited to engage with. And you don't have to start with like feeding the whole world's hungry people. Like you don't have to solve world hunger or eradicate disease or cure cancer or anything like that. You could just start with like, um, just like eating more healthy, like just the simple things for yourself, like building the foundations for yourself, like exercise once a week, like that could be huge for you. Like, but we all go like, we all look at these pictures, like that's the finish line. And this is where I am right now. And there's a billion steps between here and there. And there's no way that I'm going to do all those steps. But like you, you do 10 steps this week in that direction, you're going to be 10 steps closer than you were going to be if you were just going to keep looking at the pictures, feeling shit about yourself. So this is all like so elementary, like so simple and like basic level. That's how it feels to me in the moment. It could be like absolutely blowing your mind depending where you're at. But like, I feel like it just needs to be reminded. Like you just need to keep coming back to that place. Like this is what matters. This is what we need to be looking at. Like as long as I'm constantly looking outside of myself at these pictures and icons of what I think success is or what I think happiness is and I'm trying to just um, like snap my fingers and be there or that, that's the thing like we can't imagine how to get there and we can't we can't just like put ourselves in that picture in our, in our imagination so we just we disqualify ourselves completely. And then we just don't take any action and we just keep looking at all the stuff and we'll talk to our friends about like all this inspiring stuff. Like, I love what this guy's doing. I love what that guy's doing. I love what this community's doing. It's so inspiring and I'm so excited about it. And then we kind of trick ourselves into thinking that we're doing something, like we're involved and you kind of are. Like, I know like anybody who's watching this content, I appreciate the shit out of you because you're putting awareness into like what I'm trying to share with the world. But like, if we're just watching the videos and then that's it. Like that's the extent of our action taking. Like there needs to be intent to create a change in your life for us to evolve. As long as it's just like passively consuming content or passively just observing the world and like um, making judgments about it. Like whether if it's all positive judgments, it's, you're still just sitting there judging. Like if you're just like, that's awesome, that guy's the best, like all of this stuff is incredible. It's better than looking at everything that you hate and getting mad and being like, I hate the world. But you're still, you actually haven't, you're sitting in the same chair as the negative guy. If you're the positive guy watching all the positive stuff, like you're still on the couch, you're not in the arena. And I'm not even saying that you have to go in the arena. Like you you can comfortably just be the observer and and cruise through life and, and enjoy that. And that can be your that can be everything that you need. If you can be happy just being, like turn the video off. Like you can just like, that's it, you're good. But um, for those people that do have that, that desire to create something in this world and it's just like, it doesn't go away. Like it doesn't go away. Like you've got to, you got to do something. You got to address that. Like there's a, I feel it, I believe that there's a reason that some of us have that. And I, and I, I find it hard to believe that everybody doesn't like, I think that everybody must have some kind of little seed inside of them that, that is there to be cultivated and, and it can turn into something like really cool. Like we all have the potential to live really big lives. It's just like, what do you actually want to do though? Like, do you want to just like have it simple and keep it easy and like cruise and, and like just observe and, and watch the the theater of the universe unfold before your eyes. That's cool too. But I want to be on the stage. And I know that a lot of other people do as well. But like I said before, when we're looking at all this stuff, even looking at my videos, like, and you're thinking like, I could never be like that, like looking at this content. The question that's most important is, do I want to be? Do I actually want a big epic, incredible journey life, or am I actually pretty content just observing the theater of the universe and just like, um, being, being in the audience because like nobody's like, like everything, 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 nobody, there's no thing that you actually have to do. There's no thing that you actually have to subscribe to There's Like it feels like there is, it feels like this, the social and 
cultural expectations are real and it's like you have to do this stuff like you have to do something like there's some kind of cultural or social programming that feels like it's unescapable but none of it's unescapable like it isn't even real like if that just like like none of it like you don't have to do anything like of course like if you take that to the extremes like people will will do so that they can argue with it and like get in this cycle with themselves that I'm not even interested in. I'm not going to engage with that. But if you took it to the extreme, of course, you're going to like starve to death or like, you know, if you do nothing, that's going to be a problem. But no one's going to do nothing because we, it's just not going to happen. Like you've got your, you, you know how to be, you know how to be like, and it's that simple. So like just getting honest with yourself, I guess it's like the thing that I'm, orbiting around in this video journal just get honest with yourself what do you want because you're probably wasting a lot more energy on looking at a bunch of shit that you don't want feeling confusion about the fact that you don't have the things that you don't want and telling yourself that you do want the things that you don't want and now i'm just on purpose making this all jumbly because it's funny to me <laughs> uh, yeah i'm just that's like what i'm thinking right now and i'm just playing with it and just realizing as well that like a lot of people in my life and people that I've been talking to, they want to do all these crazy things or they say that they want to do all these crazy things. And then I give them explicit instructions that I know will work and they know will work. I can see it in their eyes. Like this is, these are the steps that you need to take. And you could do this like in six months, you could do this in three months. You could do this in three weeks. Like these steps right now that I'm giving you, you know that this will work. And then they're like, yeah, nah, you know, and they know, like, they'll say things like, I know that I've got to start publishing my stuff, but I'm, I'm too scared or I don't want to, or I'll do it eventually. Like it, they just kind of get out of that conversation about executing on the thing that they actually want to do. And I, I'm, I'm, I don't care. Like, it's not my journey. So I'll, I'll just leave it there. I'll be like, sure. I've just given you the instructions. You know that this will work. I know that this will work. And um, I'll see you in six months. And if you're still where you are, I still love you. And if you're having a meteoric rise to your version of success, I'll give you a high five. <laughs> I don't know. If you got anything out of this video, click the like button for me. Leave your comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below as well. Some good stuff in there, usually. <laughs>